they got a little spare time during your class, or you're trying to figure out what to do with your students who finish early, have I got a game for you. All right, so uh, everybody, we all have this happen. You know, you got that space filler you need. You need, you have a little bit of time, you need something to do, or you always have those students who are like, I'm done with what you told me to do, teacher, now what do I do? So we always need to have these things for students to do so that they're not always asking us what to do. Uh, I have got a game for you. It's called Square It. Man, there's so many different games. And, and teachers, man, if I could get you uh, to just like create a collection of these awesome math-based logic games, strategies where students are, are supposed to really think and, and stretch their brain, man, and then create the culture where the students just, they just automatically know. Am I done with my math? Great. Let me go play a game. Let me find a partner and we'll play a game together. And uh, and so I've got these a bunch of games that I created on uh, Google Slides. So now it's really easy because you never have to get up and find the boards <laughs> because all the boards are on a, some web page or something like that. You also never have to worry about losing pieces because you just create a new copy of the game board and you're good to go. All right, so Square It, super, super easy. It's a two player game. Players go back and forth placing their markers on the game board and the first person to make a square wins. Now, what does a square look like? Well, a square could look like this. So I'm gonna zoom in. That square could look like four purple squares like, or whoa, four purple dots like that. But it could also, whoa, bam, get all diagonal on us, right? All right, now, but here's a cool one. You can also not be a perfect diamond, but kind of like rotate it just a little bit to make a square. Any square is fair game. So that's what makes this game so fun is because those squares pop up and it's like, oh my gosh, well, I, I didn't even, in fact, a lot of times students don't even know that they've won the game. Somebody else has to point it to, point it out to them. So uh, let's, let's role model what this game would look like. So I've got a game, fresh game board right here. All right. So let's say player A goes first, player A goes here, then player B goes, I don't know where player B is going to go, right there. And then player A goes, and then player B goes, I don't know, about, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> right there, no, I'll do it right there, good. <laughs> and then player uh, A goes, uh, I don't know, right there. <clears throat> uh oh, player B's got a block, there's a block right there. Now player A goes, uh, I don't know, maybe player A is gonna try and get creative over here. And then player B goes, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How about right there? Good enough. Uh, and then player A goes, and let's kind of end this because you get the idea. And then player B goes, and woohoo! Player B has a square, and then the game is over. And that is how. That's how you play the game. It's super simple, two player game, back and forth. Whoever makes a square first wins the game. And that wraps up, woohoo! That wraps up our math with Dwayne's simple little game called Square It.